Hello and welcome to the next video in a series of what's new in NX, Continuous Release Program. NX is breaking down the barriers to innovation. It is the most productive modeling environment of any system out there. We include product design, industrial design and styling, model-based definition, model reuse, we incorporate electrical automation. Uh, it is by far the most productive environment that you can get into. Today I'm going to cover what's new in PMI. We've added a new PMI compare tool. This is a great visual tool to compare changes to your parts over time. You get a, a fully integrated interactive comparison navigator. It is in the HD3D tool set. Uh, and from, with this, you can, you can reduce manufacturing errors uh, from design changes and dr dramatically reduce the amount of time it takes to uh, check differences in PMI. In a managed mode, you can review two, two revisions, and in a native mode, you can review uh, two, two parts that are, that are well, from the same part anyway. PMI preferences have been updated. Now it makes it more consistent with some of the other preferences that we see in NX. Uh, it's been reorganized. Uh, it's got a dynamic search capability, so it makes it easier to find things. And I'll show Renew PMI, which will update PMI to the latest version of the NX code. I'll switch over to NX. So here's my part with uh, PMI on it. I can see my PMI up here, model views. I've got all my PMI entities as I, as I uh, cycle through them. And I see here that I've got my, my part has, has an underscore B on it. So I'm going to go into PMI and PMI compare. I don't have the other part open, so I'm going to go ahead and open up my other part here. I'm going to go grab Rev A. And NX will automatically set my screens up. So I have two screens side by side. I have a check box here for sync, zoom, pan, rotate. So as I rotate around, I get to see the part. And let's go through some of the changes here. In my in my HD3D tool navigator set over here, I've got model views that show that uh, uh, I have a, a, a PMI entity that's been added. So let's go take a look at it. So. Oh, I have a model view that's been added. Never mind. So I'll navigate to the model view here, and I see that I've added in a 120 dimension. Navigate to model view here, and this one it shows that it's been a change to a radial dimension. So I'll open this up. Appended text has changed, and the associated objects have changed. Let's take a look at this one. So I'll look at it here, and if I highlight this one, I can see that now I have this. 2x where before I had two separate dimensions. Okay, so it's just consolidation. And zoom back out. Again here and I have another one where it is appended text. Go ahead and navigate to model view and I can navigate to the different model views that my PMI is in and see what see what it looks like in each of them. Okay. Again I'm gonna fit my screen. If I were to click in my other window, the part that it's coming from, even though it says source part and comparison part, now if I select this window over here for Rev A, it says that I see here that I've got a, a big X on my uh, GDT frame that doesn't exist over here. So it's kind of comparing, backward comparing to say this is these these, these were changed, this was deleted. Come back over here and I can see how the uh, how everything updates. I can right click on the header bar and go into a filter and in here I can filter down based on the the PMI that I want to see so I can make this list of a huge list I can filter down to just the things that, that I'm interested in I can also push this out to report so I'm just gonna put it out to an information window I see my 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 icons the item what, what's changed what's been added what's been deleted and very quickly and easily see uh, a report I can export to browser went to a different window uh, I, I still get my my uh, my icons I get added deleted see what's been changed and this is a oh, it just shows you the plus here um, doesn't actually open and close anything okay and then I can also kick this out to a to a spreadsheet okay. PMI preferences have been consolidated into a new menu. 
they're very easy to use this so if I want to look for something like GD&T I just start typing GD&T and I can start I can find what it is I'm looking for if I click on that item it takes me to that item and I can make the adjustments that I need to make okay so that's consolidated it's looking more like some of the other preferences that we see in NX and there's one up here for renew PMI Renew PMI will recompute the PMI code to the latest algorithms. So and I do get this message that pops up that says that's what I'm going to do. If I say OK, then it's going to update my PMI to the latest code. And with that, that's about it. My name is Matt Martin. I'm an application engineer and NX trainer at Applied CIX in Portland, Oregon. Thank you.